stuff about the new Cricut Explorer Air and explaining kind of the difference between the Explorer 1 and the Explorer Air as well as going into most of the features and most everything that you can do with it. It's going to be very useful if you are deciding to get one or if you already have one and you just want to know a little bit more about the product. If you guys do not have a machine, there is a link below and there is a coupon code, Anti-Tay, to give you a little bit off, but go ahead and watch this video to decide if this is something that you want to get. This is a great investment for something for a crafter if you sell your crafts or if you just craft all the time or you want to start kind of maybe a little business on the side. So this is my Cricut Explorer Air and it's the latest model. So you'll notice online that they have two machines, Explore Air and then Explore One. So the Explore One is almost the same machine except a couple differences. So I'm just gonna open this and this is the open button right here. So if you already have the Explore One, there's a couple of attachments and to actually make it exactly like this machine. And I will put links to everything down below as well as on my blog, I have a Cricut page. So anything I talk about will be on that page as well as in the description box. So. The Cricut Explore Air has two little cubby holes. So you've got your cutting spot, which is gonna be labeled B, which people like to remember B for blade. Uh, and then the other side is for your pens, which the Explore Air has the ability to use pens and draw, and it's one of my favorite features that I'm learning that I love. So, if you have the Explore 1 or you want the Explore 1, it does have a little pen attachment you can buy so that you have one hole. However, you can't um, in one swoop just cut and draw at the same time. This can. So, that's the difference between having two little spots for it versus one and an attachment. The next upgrade that this machine has is that it's called the Air for a reason it has Bluetooth you can design straight from your phone and print right from there which is amazing if you save or you if you have a project saved or your Cricut design space you can just open up the app in your phone click go and then print and that's one of my favorite features I it saved me a couple times when my Wi-Fi was just not working or just being super slow these are just little openings so you can keep things in I am going to mention the deep cut blade because when I did first get this I wasn't sure if I could cut craft foam or um, felt but the deep cut blade is very important if you use those things often because it will get a little bit deeper this has the force but it doesn't have the depth to get through some of those products. It's very simple and super easy to understand. So basically you have your dial. The machine knows how deep it needs to cut for each product. So all you have to really do is just make sure. This is probably one of the steps that is the easiest forgotten. This button, you're gonna always wanna make sure that it's set to the right spot. You have your load button, your cut button, and your pause button, which are three super simple buttons. They flash when it's time to press each one. So those are pretty much the two differences between the machines. Now we're gonna go into all the products. So different products that you can use with this vinyls. I believe vinyl is probably one of the most popular products. Vinyl is great for tumblers. It's great for laptop decals. It's great for anything that you want to stick something to that doesn't have to be washed like fabric. So then there's window cling, which doesn't have a sticky back to it, but it's plasticky so it can cling to a window. Obviously it's called window cling. My favorite is the iron-on, and I think that's a lot of people's favorite. They have iron-on glitter. They just came out with flocked iron-on, which is very cute. It's kind of a felty feeling to it. Then the glitter iron-on is obviously my, probably my ultimate favorite because it's glitter and it's you can put it on your clothing. They also have chalkboard, which is super popular right now. So then there's the clear Cricut assistant paper that helps with your vinyl transfer. So you put it on the back of your vinyl, peel it off, and then stick it on whatever you want. It. They also have cardstock and paper, which is probably one of the number one things that people use the Cricut for. Craft foam, so that's always fun for like kids' parties. Ultimate favorite, I guess I've been saying that about everything, but printable vinyl and printable fabric. How cool is that? All of your own custom vinyl decals with your logo or with whatever. Printable sticker paper, which means just amazing. You can do all your custom stickers. I'm super excited to start using is their washi paper. Washi tape is a huge thing right now and 
why not cut it into all the beautiful shapes that you want to cut it into so they also have vellum leather and foil so those are all the things that Cricut offers for you to cut with this machine however there's a lot of other fun stuff that you can use like wax paper, any type of paper product that you have, fabric. Okay, so next we're gonna go into the subscription and the cartridges. Something that held me back from getting a Cricut along, you know, before the new design started coming out was that you had to buy expensive cartridges and you would only get to do certain projects with those cartridges. Now you can literally cut anything out and that is why I am so in love with this. I am a graphic designer. Make custom things for my friends with their names on them. I just, I love that whole idea. However, they also have their subscription to all of their images, which is $9.99 a month for $100 a year. The best thing about the paying monthly is you, there's no contract, so you can sign up and then use what you need to use, and then if you don't need it for a few months, unsign up and then sign up back again if you want to use it again. They have amazing designs, and they're always come out with new designs and they still call them cartridges however they are more digital and everything is just on the design space so you can look into that as well alrighty now we're gonna talk about the tools that come with the bundles that you buy the tools are super important and they come with a bundle when you buy the bundle but these are created to help you make your projects a lot easier and they were designed specifically for different types of products that you're gonna use this is their scraper and they just came out with a big one and I need to get that one because it will scrape your projects off the mat without ruining your really thin projects. That I mean, this thing is amazing. And then it also helps you clean off your mat, but I want the bigger one. So then they have these reverse tweezers. Basically, you squeeze them to open and then you let go and they stay. That way you can grab onto something. So reverse tweezers are awesome. This is a scoring stylus, which is also used in the A slot, the the pen slot. Uh, this will help you if you're creating cards or envelopes, score so that you can fold your paper better. Then this thing is what I use all the time. I call it my scalpel. Scalpel! It's basically to just get all those little things out when you're creating letters and they have those little pieces. I mean, who knew that a little point on the end of a stick could help you so much. And then this is another scalpel looking thing, but it's a scraper. And this will also help you get um, around corners and just a little bit more detailed than this. You'll get some little Cricut scissors. So then their Cricut cutting slicer. <laughs> uh, I have names for all of my own stuff. I, I've, na I've renamed them. It opens up like this which also has a ruler. So it has a ruler this way and this way and then a grid so that you always make sure that everything is straight. I love that. I love this thing. They sell pens. So the pens are designed to fit perfectly into the spot and they have gold, they have silver. I think the gold, the metallic gold is new. All the different sizes so they have like big to little calligraphy pens and then obviously they have colors and stuff so pens are amazing because pens can write then I'm gonna explain to you the three different mats so there's this regular green mat which is just the regular stick there are gonna be other things that you might want different mats for lightweight and it's it's much better to use this for thin pieces of paper or even I use it for my cardstock even because it's just a little bit easier to peel them off and all that good stuff so then there's the heavy-duty stick which is good for fabrics and felt but there are techniques that I'm gonna teach you guys with those so the heavy the medium and the light in the bundles you'll see everything that you can get and so yeah I mean that's pretty much an overview of the machine and what it does. It cuts, it scores, it writes, you can design. So the Cricut comes in lots of different colors and you can get it to match whatever room that you're gonna be putting it in. It's, it's obviously an amazing tool and it's made my life a lot more fun and easier. And it makes gift giving so much more fun because I get to customize everything for everyone. And who doesn't love a personalized gift? So one other, I'm obviously gonna be doing some a lot of craft tutorials, but one other video I'm gonna be doing is, is how to make money using this. And 
There are so many things that you can do with it and that will be coming up soon. So if you have any questions, let me know below. Let's get talking about this thing and if you guys have tips or tricks, let me know. I'll also be doing a Cricut Hacks video to teach you guys extra little things that you can do with it. And make sure that you guys click subscribe if you have a Cricut or thinking about getting a Cricut or you just want to watch my other tutorials. I love you guys. Bye.